So I'm here at a brand new podcast space at Meller Real Estate Group in Montreal. This space was empty and they hired me to create a multifaceted podcast recording studio. So here is the result of our effort, which took us, what, Jay, two weeks? About two weeks and a couple dollars. So let's take a quick tour around the room, starting with the three Samsung 65 inch televisions that are mounted portrait mode and designed in a way so that we can use them as one screen. That is thanks to a device called the Matrox Quad Head To Go, which we'll show you on the wall there in a second, that allows you to output up to four screens, but you're inputting one and you can actually configure everything with software so you can make sure everything is perfectly aligned. We can put pictures, video, anything we want up there so we have a virtual background, which is super cool. As we go around the room here this way, you'll see We've got a confidence monitor here that has the video controls from our ATEM switcher. All the equipment here is black magic when it comes to the video because of the quality. It's ready for broadcast. We're good to go no matter the scenario, whether recording videos, putting stuff up live, it is ready to go in full beautiful 4K. So ATEM, the one we chose for this particular studio is the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. Eight channel input gives us full control of not only the computers and everything that and cameras that are in here now, but anything we may expand. You can see we've got a hard drive so we can record directly to it, headphones for monitoring, a Mac mini that is nicely specced for what we need to do in terms of controlling things, 16 port switcher on the wall, and that Matrix quad head to go, which controls the monitors. Heading over to the camera setup, we've got three cameras in this particular space. The camera I went with is the Blackmagic Micro Studio camera, 4K, this is the second generation. They are tiny. They're micro four thirds, so they are compatible with a whole different array of lenses. You can see we've got one over here on the wall, nicely mounted with all the cable hiding and going through the ceiling. We've got another one over here. That's what we call our main primary camera. Again, different lenses on different devices, depending on what we wanna do, but everything is controlled by the actual ATEM, so we can go in and customize focus, we can do our manual zoom, we can customize all the camera settings and make it a seamless experience. And the third one over here is again mounted to the wall at various angles so that we can do various shots based on the background that we've got. Lighting wise, we've got a simple kit that we got on Amazon. Again, no reason to go expensive when you can go functional. We mounted a bar from the ceiling, this Home Depot bar, three lights high enough so they're not in the camera shot, they're not reflecting off the screen and they light our subjects perfectly. These are controlled by an app or controlled by a switch on the wall. What I've done is I've actually wired them to a Lutron switch so that on the wall here, we've got a Pico remote and when we turn the remote on or off, it just turns the studio on and ready to go. The last thing we added was smart lock so that we can give a code to anybody who wants to come in here. If they wanna rent the space, they can actually come in here and get everything they wanna do going and ready to record or go live at the touch of a button. So there you have it. It's the brand new video podcast space at Mellor Real Estate Group. Thanks to Blackmagic for making my life easier. Um, their support has been absolutely incredible in terms of advising me on which lenses to use, which cameras to get, and of course, getting stuff to us pretty quick when we hit that purchase button. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, tune in for another video.